Hey, what's up, guys? What's up? Good Friday afternoon to everybody. I know, boys. So the cats are really excited to uh, eat tonight. I don't know what the deal is. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys had a great Friday. It's the weekend. Can you believe it? We finally, finally made it to the weekend. We only got about three more weeks of this uh, quarantine for April. Hopefully that quarantine is lifted for us and we will get, be able to get on with our, our lives. All of us, in fact. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to go through here and share um, our post, our share our video tonight. Hopefully we can get some people to come and watch. We're gonna spend a little bit of time this afternoon and so, just hanging out with the cats. So, this is your time, time to ask questions and uh, get to know some of us. And so, you're welcome to watch and enjoy the program. So, right now, we're gonna feed the cats because I know the cats are really, really hungry. So, I'm gonna reposition the camera so everybody can see what I'm doing. So everybody can see what I'm doing. Everybody can see me, right? This is Bo. Come here, Mr. Bo. Come here, Bo. This is my friend Bo. This is Bo. My sweet prince. Hello, Mr. Bo. I love you. My little fuzzball. He's a really fuzz, really big fuzzball. He scratches too. No, oh, didn't get me. Here is Mac. I'd like to introduce him. Come here, Sylvester. And this is Mac. This is Mac. I call him Macaboo. Macaboo. Okay. Come here, Sylvester. Y'all ready for break or dinner? They want to. They want to eat first. So that's what we're gonna do. We got the dry food. Fill that up first. That way I can use the container. Um, get rid of some of this dry stuff, and uh, tell you what we're going to do, um, we're going to get some new plates, we're going to get, I'll tell you what, we'll get the new plates tomorrow, in the tonight, after y'all, after y'all finish your dinner, anyway, those are the cats that we have, we have one more cat, um, she's a little kitten, but she's been fixed, um, Bo, I'm sorry, Bo, Mac, and Sylvester over here. They've all been fixed. Everybody's happy, healthy, doing well. Hey, by the way, thanks for watching tonight. It's been a while since I've been able to do a program where I can share to multiple groups, but I hope that um, you get something out of it. Um, I hope that by watching, it, it you know fills your heart, makes you happy to know that um, people are and still do care about the cats. You know, um, this is my buddy Sylvester. He's got a little high problem. I don't know if y'all can see that, but he's happy, he's healthy. He's not, not in any pain from, from what I see. And he's a fuzzball. He's a fuzzball and a half. Aren't you? Aren't you there, bud? Mm. I love you. Gary loves you guys. Gary loves you. Yeah. So we're going to feed them first. Because I know... I don't know. Can y'all see me? Can y'all see what I'm doing? Like, I don't know if y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm going to wave at y'all. But let me, let me take care of these guys first. And uh, feed them. Hi, right, Sylvester. Alright, they can see me. Okay. Who wants to eat first? So they get, um, they get friskies, um, pate, they like the pate stuff. I don't know quite why they like, like the pate, but, um, that's what they get. Um, normally I only give them a half a can, but tonight I'm gonna give them a whole can because it's fr because it's Friday. Here, come over here. And then, um, they'll enjoy that. Hang on, Mac. Hang on, Mac. Hang on. I'm gonna give you some. Hang on. Mac's very excited. He's always excited. 
only, they're only getting a whole can tonight because it's Friday, right? Yeah. They need to eat anyway. Normally, I only give them a half a can and some treats. Uh, so, and I, I'm going to give them a little bit extra. Here you go. No, here. No, no, no. You get your own plate. Mac, back here. Mac, you get your... It, I do this for a reason. They, they each get their own plate because I don't want them to fight, you know, to bicker and, you know, scratch each other, you know, fight, you know. So, I give them each their own plate, and I split them up. Yeah. You come over here, Bo's in front of me, Max over there, Sylvester's right there. And so, um, that's the reason why they get their own plate. Um, we also have a treat jar here. Um, they all get treats when they're done, you know, with their, their meal. So, um, they get fed once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Um, I'm feeding them a little more during the day because I'm here now for, or I'm going to be here. I've already been here three weeks and I got, I got three more weeks to go on the quarantine for us here. That's if they don't extend it through May. That's what I'm hearing. That, you know, that's that's a possibility. But anyway, um, so that's kind of what we that's kind of what we do. Also, I might just say that I mentioned on the post that I am looking for somebody who lives in Grand Prairie who can feed once a day. I don't need twice a day. I need once a day. Somebody that I can trust, somebody that's responsible, that will come every morning and feed these cats. Now, you might see they have plenty of water and they have plenty of dried food, but I only give them the wet food um, and they really seem to like, you know, the wet food. So if somebody can get a hold of me, get in touch with me, that and come and meet me, not right now, after the quarantine, like at the end of May, or the end of April, once the quarantine is up for us, then you can come by and visit. Or you can talk to me on the phone or whatever, or instant messenger, anyway. So again, I'm looking for somebody that I can trust and that will come every afternoon and feed these guys because they need to be fed. I'm having revision surgery, which is a very serious problem that I, that I have right now. So, um, I'm really kind of focused on just kind of continuing, uh, taking care of these guys and just giving them everything that they need, um, on a daily basis. So again, they've got plenty of water here, plenty of dry food, and all you gotta do is open a can of wet food. Show up. It takes five minutes to do that. So, that's what I need. Hopefully somebody out there who will see this. Now we're going to start. Mac, have you got that snot nose again? Come here. Come here. Come here. Let me see. Snot nose. Oh, yes, snot nose. Okay. Um, again, we're going to start doing these videos in the afternoon. I don't know that I'm going to do them every morning. I just did it this morning because I just did it this morning. Just because. So, I think we'll do the afternoon programming for now. And just kind of go with that. And hopefully people can come and watch and check out the cats. See how they're doing. And um, ask questions. There's Mac. There's everybody over here. See, they have fresh water right there. Um, Bo has his own his own place to go inside. And from the rain and from the cold, if it gets cold, he knows where to go. And there's another box over behind me, as well as underneath the chair. So there's plenty of uh, places over here for them to, um, you know, get in and out of the, the elements. 
Let me turn this around. That way. Come here, buddy. You want to you say hi? Come here. Oh, boy. This is my friend, Bo. He's a Mr. Bo. This is Mr. Bo. He's a Mr. Bo. He's a love bug. Oh, my gosh. You know, he used to be so scared of people. He would never come near me. This was like four years ago when I first moved here. He would not come near me. He was so malnourished and so tiny. He was little. But now he's as big as me and happy and he gets plenty of food because not only do I feed him, he gets fed by um, the uh, lady at the doctor's office next door. She feeds him every morning. Go figure. So he gets a, he gets a, he gets two meals every morning. So he, he's happy with that. Bravo. Yeah. Hello. Don't scratch, okay? Be gentle. Be gentle. You got stuff on your hands. He, he likes riding in my car. Did I tell you all that? This cat, he will get in my lap, like in my car, and he will just want to ride in my lap. He won't, he doesn't want to sit in the seat. He wants to um, get either in my lap or in my back window, like my rear view mirror. mirror. No, my back window. <laughs> anyway, so he's good about riding. Kisses. I give you kisses. Didn't that bow? He's a sweetheart. But you really have to be careful with him because he will bite. He will scratch. At the moment's notice, he will get you. Like, seriously. See? Any slight movements, sound, get to him. So I only scrap him, grab him by the scrub to keep him scratching me. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's okay. It's okay. See? There we go. There we go. Gentle. Gentle Gary. Hi, sweetheart. Nothing more special than to look in a cat's eyes. Careful. Yes. Nothing more special than to look in a cat's eyes and tell them you love them. I love you, Bo. Yes, I do. I love my Bo. -bo. You. Such a love bug. Oh my gosh. My life is complete. Yes, with you guys. Not a dull moment. No, sir. Alright, Bo. I'm gonna put you down, okay? Gentle. Can't get gentle. Go down there. Okay, Max turn. Mac's turn. mac -boo. This is Mac. Mac has a spot right here and right on his belly. I don't know if y'all can see that, but he's he's a cool character. Mac. Little mac -boo. What are you doing? Kissy, kissy. Hey, little Mac. Yeah, this is Mac. We think Mac belongs to somebody because from time to time, he'll take off and he'll disappear for a week or two weeks sometimes. So we think he belongs to somebody. We just don't know who he might. I, mean, I don't know who that is. I never have been able to figure it out. But anyway, that's kind of what we think. Let me try. Let me plug in my phone. It's fixing to die. There we go. All right, man. Semester. Come here, Mac. Come here. Come back here. Come back here. Anyway, see, so here's Mac. Mr. Mac. Mr. Mac. So, I, I know I mentioned this already. We have three, no, actually, we have four cats. Um, now, over the years, we've had many, many, many more. But, Thanks to my hard work, dedication, we've been able to find homes for a lot of them. Part of that, it's, I have to be 
thankful to the cat crew um, because they've been able to take some of those cats, but some of the others we've been able to find homes for. Um, if you go to my Instagram page, you'll see many of the cats who have come and gone. Either, well, majority, um, all of them have found homes. So, go check out my Instagram. It's on the post here. You can just click on that and see some of the pictures that uh, we've posted or go to Instagram and type in hashtag cat lovers underscore four underscore ever and it'll pull me yeah right here right back right back Mac is a, he's a little fluff ball yeah he's a little fluff ball you want to play he wants to play look he likes to play by Get him, back. Get him back. Get him back. Get him back. Get him back. Say, we don't do this to be mean. We just kind of play. Not not hard. See, he's, he's already giving me kisses. He loves me. Nothing better than the love of a cat. Ain't that right, Nick? He's giving me love. Yes. I know you. I know you love Gary. See, this is that's doing well. So that's her. Where are you going, buddy? So, anyway, um, hey, if you're interested and you live in the Grand Prairie area and you Oh, what is going on now? What is going on? What's going on? Meow. Okay, come here, Sylvester. Sylvester, come here. I may have to go get him. Sorry, my, my hat. Um, Sylvester, come here. Sylvester, come here. Sylvester, he's over there doing his business. Sylvester. Kitty, kitty, kitty. All right. Well, anyway, the cats are all doing well, as you can see. Um, they've all been fed for tonight. Um, as I said earlier, all of my cats are fixed, vaccinated, all that good stuff. Um, have been for quite some time, but, uh, come here, Sylvester. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here, big boy. No problem. He's being stubborn. I wanted to show, show, um, Sylvester to you guys, but he's being a little stubborn. So, I don't ever force him. Like, I don't want to force them to do anything they don't want to do. So, um, I don't push them too much. I like to play with Mac. I won't play with Mo because the last time I did that, he got me right on the finger. And he'll get me if, if I play too hard with him. Part of the reason, too, um, that we've not been able to place Bo, we've had a few offers. But, um, the main reason is because he scratches and bites, and, um, so, we, I don't feel comfortable placing him, obviously, so, his best option is just to get out, be an outdoor cat, because that's really what he's good at, for the most part, um, and he, he does get picked on, we have a cat, uh, not me, but the neighbors have a cat that uh, is not neutered, and um, apparently they let this cat out, and this cat tends, tends to terrorize Bo, and I don't like that. I have gotten really mad at these people several times. 
I've complained to the local um, animal control, but they won't do anything about it right now because they don't think it's an emergency situation. So um, I have a spray bottle, a uh, water bottle that I can use in case I see them fighting. I can spray them, not Bo, but the other cat. And it doesn't hurt, hurt the cat. It just kind of says, okay, enough, you know, without being really forceful. Just use a little spray bottle. It doesn't make a sound um, or any, it doesn't hurt them to do that. So um, it's better than, you know, having to having somebody else try to break them up or me trying to break them up. It's just safer. Come here, Sylvester. Come here, buddy. You know, come say hi. Come here. This is my buddy, Sylvester. He's got an eye problem, um, but we're gonna get that fixed, hopefully, here in the next month. Um, it's not, he's not in any pain or anything, but he's got a bad eye. Yeah. Nothing, nothing better. This is how I like to spend my, my afternoons. Right, so that's the... He's a big, 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 big black cat. Uh, he's probably one of our biggest... Well, no, he's the biggest black cat I've seen. Mr. Beans wasn't even this big. Beans, you know, he he was the last cat to get adopted. And my friend Deborah from Terrell adopted him from me. So, he's doing really well. He's fat. He's like really, really big. <laughs> Super big. He's about, he's probably bigger than you, so that's good. Hey. Big old fluff ball. I love my life. Sometimes. Never a dull moment, right? On the block. On the block, huh? So, anyway, well, I hope that everybody's um, staying safe and staying indoors. I mean, I'm not going far, but I have to feed these guys. So it gives me a chance to kind of come out and get s some fresh air. So, um, it's okay. It's okay. We've had some people coming by us, so they're going to they're gonna come by and talk to us. And I know they're going to... Go say hi, Bo. Anyway, um, what was I gonna say? What, what was I saying? Oh, I hope everybody's safe. I hope you're staying indoors. I hope you're taking care of your, ha your homes, your families, um, and you're, uh, keeping your distance, so to speak six foot, like six foot apart, I guess, and, um, all that good stuff, um, I haven't gone anywhere for three weeks, like, I've been home, I can't even go to work, like, I can't even go to, go drive for who, I lost my job on March the 12th, when we got quarantined, that sucks, to have a job, and then, like, to not even have a job for like 10 years. Then you get a job, you have it for four months, and then you lose it. Just mysteriously lose it. Uh -oh. the moment, you know, for hope, kind of defeats the purpose of having a job, and then you, you 
unknowingly lose their job. And I know I'm not the only I know I'm not the only one to have lost their jobs. But at least I got the two weeks pay from Uber. Everybody's just taking it easy. Remember, this is not a sprint, it's a marathon. We got three more weeks. There's the baby. Hey, little girl. Hey, little mama. I'm gonna sleep if I can get the little fever. Um, yeah, we only have about three more weeks, I think, of our quarantine. And that is if it doesn't get extended. All right, Sylvester, I'm gonna put you down. Let me see if I can get the female. She's a little skinny, but we're trying to feed her and take care of her. Bo has really, really taken uh, to her. I will find them in uh, their boxes together sometimes. So that's that's really cute um, to see that they're accepting each other. put her down and let her, and just let her eat because she needs to eat with the others. So we have three black cats, just in case uh, y'all didn't know it. Anyway. Well, I think I'm gonna call it. Um, listen, I appreciate each and every one of you who come and watch our video, uh, our, our program every afternoon. We're gonna start doing our afternoon programming, so come and watch, kind of see how everybody's doing, um, all that good stuff, I'll give you an update on how everybody's doing, um, so yeah, alright, y'all know how I like to end my program, right? Remember to help control the pet population, have your pets pay your food. Alright, y'all know that's how, kind of how I like to end my, my programming, so y'all take care, have a great afternoon, have a great weekend. I know, we're quarantined, we're indoors, find something that you enjoy, and just do it. Like, um, if I can make any suggestions to you, create an obstacle course inside your home for your kids. Have a scavenger hunt. Hide things. Clues. Hide little clues on things that you can find and make it like a fun uh, thing for you and the kids and the grandparents. I'm sure they would enjoy it. Um, also, make sure you include the pets. Make sure you include your pets because, you know, they're important too, right? They're a big part of your family. They're a big part of my family. So, always, always include the pets. The dogs, the cats, um, 
passé euh, Well, there's lots that you can do on social media. You got movies, you got iTunes, you got um, games, you got the tablet, the iPhone. Good Lord, there's so many things that people can be doing with their time. I know I've been cleaning my room, just trying to get everything in tip-top shape come the end of April. Um, but anyway, anyway, y'all take care. Have a great afternoon, great weekend. Again, remember to help control the pet population. Have your pets spayed or neutered. Take care, everybody. See you.